What is going on Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs and today as you guys can see here we have our second opening of the new uh, Pokeballs um, and I guess they're Poke Tins I guess I'm gonna assume. I really don't know anything about this. Um, they just randomly popped up in my local game store and I bought them right away. And uh, therefore so far we had really really awesome luck when it came to the Quick Ball here. We were able to pull a full art Glycopod GX as well as two hollows. So we have we had all white code cards that come out of this ball right here. And so far, hopefully, I will hope at least that the luck will continue with the Pokeball. Although I was very, very surprised to see the pack selection they put in here. Um, you have no kind of new sets whatsoever. Uh, I would have at least thought that they were going to give us Celestial Storm in here. But they're actually giving us Breakthrough, Crimson Invasion, and Burning Shadows. Which I'm assuming it's a really good, uh, smart way of getting rid of all the over uh, stock that the Pokemon International Company may have. And they're just trying to liquidate all these packs and eh, whatever. You know, it's not too bad. It, the Quick Ball looks pretty amazing. It is actually made out of um, like a tin material. So exactly the same thing you would get out of a tin or a launch box or the collection chest, collector's chest as they call it. So not too bad uh, right there. It looks exactly like a Pokeball. It's pretty awesome. As you guys can see here, you do have three booster packs and one Pokemon coin. So far, the coin we got out of the Quick Ball was a Zoroark. So hopefully, uh, there will be a different one here. You can kind of hear it roll there and you see how that kind of sounds like um, the tin material. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start opening this one up. And while I'm opening it up, I want to let you know that the code cut winners of yesterday's video are going to be in the description box below. If you are here for the first time, First of all, welcome to the Open TCG Screw. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Uh, but in case you don't know, what I usually do is I do giveaways on a daily basis, and I, I usually give out code cards um, and every time. And uh, all you have to do is uh, leave one comment for the question of the day, and that's usually how it works. I just randomly pick three people, and they all get code cards. Okay. So uh, the winners of today's video are going to be down in the description box below. If you see your name down below, all you have to do is get a hold of me on my social media links. All the links will be provided to you on the screen of the video as well as on the bottom. And then you also um, can get a hold of me there and then I'll be giving you your code cards. Today's question of the day is let me know what you guys think about the pack selection coming out of this thing. So you think it's worth it? Um, they are about $13 for each one of these. So do you really think it's a good idea to have those kind of packs? Uh, let me know what you guys start thinking. Let me know your thoughts and then I'll be selecting three winners for tomorrow's video. All right, so here we go. Let's open up this Pokeball right here. And it's hopefully just going to open up just like so. It's pretty tight. There we go. Like I said, it's a tin kind of material. So it's going to stay in there pretty good. All right, and here we go. So we have the same kind of packs. A Crimson Invasion, a Burning Shadows, as well as a Breakthrough. So um, I guess we'll do it in the same order we did yesterday. So not too bad. And the coin today, hey, there we go, a Manaphy coin. So they're giving us at least different coins in every one of them. So that's pretty awesome. I did buy some more of these. So when we open them up, we'll see if the same kind of coins come out. But so far, we've gotten, like I said, the Zoroark here as well as the Manaphy coin, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and um, put this back together here because we're going to be using this for display purposes. So I want to keep them nice and neat. And we have three packs here. Let's open them up and see what kind of goodies we're going to get. All right, here we go. Breakthrough pack. Hopefully we can get ourselves some awesome pulls and as you guys can see there we have another white code cards. These things are completely amazing. I don't know if it's just a good luck that I'm going through right now. But I like I said on, on the other one on the quick ball we pulled three white code cards. So hopefully it'll continue to be like that today. Alright here we have a Pikachu, a Noibat, Cubone, Wubbuffet, Judge, very good card, useful right now in the TCGO. A Skyla, Reverse Hollow, and that's an Uncommon. And a Mr. Mine. Oh, that's right. I forgot that Breakthrough um, doesn't really mean what the uh, color of the card is because um, and there, was no, there was no variations like it is now. So, all right. No big deal. Here we have a Crimson Invasion. You guys can get yourselves one of these code cards and get yourself something awesome on the PTCGO. Here we go. Water Energy aside. And we have... the. Three and two for the pack trick after that. So when we take the energy out of the pack. A Shellus, Buttleby, Handour, Dano, Carablast, Lusamine, Hakama O, Hunter, Corefish, that's a reverse hollow, and that's a common. And in a Scavalier, regular rare. So so far we're completely opposite from yesterday. This will be the only one that can give us a great chance 
at pulling something awesome such as a hyper rare Charizard. And if I were to pull that card out of here, I would completely lose my mind. Um, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> here we go, a metal energy. And then what are we going to get out of the last pack? Hopefully something awesome and amazing. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Last pack mojo, please. Moralo, Esper, Duskull, Oddish, Mudbray, Tormenting Spray, Whirlipede, Guzma. There we go. That's a nice trainer right there to get. That's a nice supporter. A Dust Noir, and that's the Reverse Hollow Rare. And, <laughs> and the Neuvern GX. Let me tell you something. I don't know what's going on with this, but this is the second time I get something awesome in the last pack. So while the first two packs were kind of eh, you know, this one absolutely made up for that. And even though it's just a Neuvern GX, still a Neuvern GX, you know, no big deal. I love all kind of GXs, no matter what it is. And right there, as you guys can see, is kind of weirdly cut too. Very, very bad on the edges, but it doesn't really matter because it's still a lovely pool anyway. Let's go ahead and put this in a sleeve real quick. So, if you guys like this video, I please would love to see or hear back from you guys. And if you really like them, all you gotta do is give me a thumbs up. If you did not, for some reason, give me a thumbs down. Let me know how I can fix things and make it better. But please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's the only way you're gonna be able to know when I make new videos. And by the way, there's a giveaway going on until December 15th for the holiday. So go ahead and get yourselves entered. All the information will be in the description box below this video. And then that's basically it. All right, you've been listening and watching Open TCGs. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves. See you later.